hi guys and welcome to Zena GK actually this time so I have a reason to make Zen video I mean this kind of a video not Zena music video so a YouTube channel called Looper made the video about you know shows that are now unwatchable you know old shows one of those shows believe it or not was Zena Zena was in their list of unwatchable shows and like what in the name now I, I understand that everybody has you know different taste but I think that for the people uh, at least I think that you know the guy that was making this video from this channel looper I, I think that most people and maybe this guy is like a casual viewer maybe and he didn't actually watch the show since the 90s or the early 2000s I am assuming because if you watch Xena enough if you watched like I did like other fans did the show a lot you definitely know that, that the show holds up and yes I know that the show has very you know old special effects way of shooting stuff uh, way of um, cutting uh, things together although although some of the scenes and how the show was filmed was actually very good at times and I was always impressed of how the direction of the show was so great because it was so emotional the camera always was in Zena's face in the right moment they always showed the action you know from a side and uh, it, it was just awesome I mean I can watch Zena and not get tired of it absolutely not so I thought I make this video in defense of Xena because Xena is not just about that whether or not the show looks old now or not. This is not like Baywatch or something like that. The show has extreme meaning and just deepness. It can tell amazing stories. I mean everything that Xena went through is amazing. Uh, her origin is amazing. Why she became this warrior princess that is just one of a kind warrior princess is a title and all of those things she was evil she became good the story is just mind-blowing uh, on all of those episodes that they showed her when she was younger and evil and how she was a you know warlord how she killed people everybody how she had no remorse whatsoever no mercy and how she was able to turn all this around and become a better person trying to make up for all her mistakes and evil that she did in the meantime being this warrior that is just unmatched by anybody and even if somebody matches her skill you know her fighting skills Zena always finds a way to outsmart them I mean Caesar, Callisto, other enemies Zina is freaking amazing so the show also was freaking amazing I can remember like only two or three episodes that I'm not really fond of kind of like in present times with Joxer the episode where mm, there was only Gabriel in this episode an episode from the first season an episode that there's no there's no Zina in it about three or four episodes in the whole show you know those episodes I'm not fond of at all but everything else when it comes to drama, you're so attached to the characters, you can cry your eyes out. And when it's, you know, the comedy episodes, you can just blow up from laughing. i never seen such funny episodes by any show. Even, I, I can go as far as to say that the funny episodes in Xena are one of the funniest episodes in any show that I've ever seen. I mean, I laughed so hard. And Xena is one of those shows that made me laugh that hard. Xena has one of the best action scenes for the times and in general, I mean, her fighting skills. Some of those scenes look comical sometimes, but they are intentionally that. It's not like they try to make it cool and modern, but it looks comical. No, I mean, the show clearly shows you when it's supposed to be funny and when it's supposed to be very serious. And you can even check the last episode, uh, Finn 1, Finn 2. I mean, no spoilers here, but what happened in the last episode was very am amazing in terms of special effects. Uh, even, yeah, CGI face, that was very well done. 
the fighting that Zina went through, the blood, the arrows, everything, the smoke, her armor, um, amazing costume. They also up updated her costume in season 5. Yeah, some fans do say that they don't really like the last seasons, uh, maybe the 4th, the 5th. Um, I heard mostly the 5th and the 6th. I don't have anything against those seasons. For me, they are super perfect. Yes, they are not like the first ones. The first seasons have a charm to them, but the new newer seasons have also the, the charm to them and they are a bit more modern in a sense. So basically guys, what I'm trying to say is that Xena is absolutely amazing. I don't know how the reboot is going to be. I don't know if it even will happen, although we are supposed to be waiting for it in 2016, but that never happened. It was too early and I knew that it was too early, so we have to wait for 2017 i mean now but who knows but anyways no matter if the reboot uh, ever comes to fruition or not we have now one of the best shows ever made and for me personally the best show the best show that was ever made because Zina showed emotion i mean you cared about every single character you just cared so much and now like I'm watching the Vampire Diaries, no offense to any fans of that because I was a fan of the Vampire Diaries as well. And since Nina Dobrev left, the show just went downhill so much. And by the way, Nina Dobrev is a Bulgarian actress, you know, that I'm Bulgarian too. But anyways, I mean, the show, you know, goes for that shock value and you're like, oh no, this guy is going to die, oh no, and... I don't care anymore, I mean, it's not the problem only of the Vampire Diaries, it's a problem of a lot of other shows that are just so like counting on the shock value and not the story, not the characters, they're trying to build those characters up, all the actors are really good, but they can't portray emotion like the old shows can, like like Xena could. Xena is an absolute goat, grew up with the show since I saw it like I think around 2000 and I don't know, 3, 4 uh, when I saw it the first time, yes I saw it when the show was already over but you know, I, I don't live in America so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the reason and Xena is one of those shows that you need to watch uh, every episode so you can get further and further into the story to understand Xena, to understand how she thinks, where she's coming from because there is no other character like her with such background, with such story, with such substance to the story and Gabriel as well as her companion, psychic or whatever you want to call her but she's also an amazing, amazing character and the, the villains are so evil you just, you're like, if you have to pick between Altiot or Callisto, you're so terrified already. <laughs> or even Caesar and Ares, yeah, they can be very bad too, especially Caesar actually. So guys, basically I want to defend Xena with this video. I didn't think that Xena needed a defense, um, one of the guys who knows, in the comments, uh, like responded to my comment and said, well, uh, something like there was a bad acting though or the acting was bad though and I'm like the acting was bad I mean that was never an issue with Xena I mean all the actors were great uh, how that guy from the looper video said that the budget was you know it's, it was low budget show and, and so on I mean the 90s late 90s early 2000s all shows were like that we never get to see anything like now we see with Game of Thrones, uh, even Westworld. We never get to see anything like that. But now times are different and we now are able to see even movie quality special effects and production quality in the in the new show, some of them at least. Uh, before it wasn't like that, but even, even considering that Xena was perfectly contained with however budget it had. They used you know, some interesting film tricks to film some of the things like uh, tempo from afar and other things and it was never any different from reality. Of course there were some CGI effects in the first season that was bad but I think they are perfectly watchable now e even though they're they're really bad but they're still 
kind of acceptable. I mean, they made them not so awkward, actually. You have to you have to remember that a show is not only about the special effects, it's about the character, the story, something that will hold your attention, something that will touch you, hopefully, for a lifetime, if it's really quality and if it has a heart and soul, and Xena does. It inspired so many people, including myself. No matter what age I become, I'll always love Xena because just she is something else she's really something else and the show and her and everything so i hope they bring her back i doubt that the new show is going to be better than the old one the original is always going to be the original you know i don't think that that video that looper made has some you know credibility because this is so subjective to say whether or not the show is watchable now or not but there's people for everything and you can't just go and say like this is unwatchable, this is unwatchable. I mean I can even watch shows like Married with Children, you know, the comedian show and The Nanny. Those shows are so freaking funny. They're TV classics. And yes, I can still watch them and of course yeah I can still watch Xena because the quality of how they made things they made you care about the characters. Not that I don't care about what's happening in Game of Thrones, but it, it's different. Xena has a lot more substance to everything, like layers upon layers upon layers. It hits you just right in here. And I know teenagers, people that are younger than me, falling in love with Xena right now, and they are not saying, oh my gosh, this is not from my generation, because Xena is made such a way that as long as you have a heart and soul, and you love, you know, super cool and super deep and unique stories about the unusual hero because, you know, Sina, like I said, is unique in so many ways not because she, she's a woman, but just because of the circumstances and yes, in a way, because she is a woman that endured all of the things that happened to her and still became eventually the best warrior possible on, on Earth that is not a demigoddess and so on although she had powers through the years I mean some but she was only she was always a human being but anyways and she was able to defeat the freaking gods and that's just the tip of the iceberg with Xena I mean I can go on and on and on and on that's it guys pretty much let me know what you think in the comments about Xena being unwatchable anymore just let me know uh, and please be respectful we can have a normal intelligent conversation without the need of any insults because I'm not going to respond to anybody that is not a decent human being. But anyway guys, so thank you very much for watching. Until next time with Xena GK. And of course you can check out my other channels. Gary G Reviews and Gary G Gaming. Till next time. Watch me. I have many skills.